<laughs> Look at this light flooding. Wow. It's like in Washington or something. Okay, straight. Rain. Buckets and buckets, day after day, all night long. July brought rain. My whole life growing up, July was hot and made the river shrivel, and I'd jump from rock to rock right up the middle, but no rock running this year. And on nights we'd usually be paddling and cooking dinner over a fire, we were hiding out in the apartment, cooking, reading, cleaning, doing laundry, baking bread, watching our shows. And while the rain changed the feel of the summer, it never stopped the momentum. <laughs> as dreams that had been incubating for two years or more were on the verge of cracking open. And Georgie the van was moments away from a fresh new look and would soon feel the crisp light of day on his tired eyes once again. This piece is the one I made. We couldn't get it. Yeah. But I made it. Nice. I took two, a new one and one of your old ones. Sweet. Yeah, you just cut the end. Yeah. Oh, holy. Whoa. It's like three feet deep. And so after checking in on him, Allie and I went to John's property to grab my wheelbarrow, which was used to clean out John's old house all winter. And we needed it up at the cabin to work on a couple different landscaping projects. And we spoke with John's new tenant, who appeared satisfied with the property. <laughs> he went so fast. I don't want him to go any higher because he could fall. I don't think they're meant to climb trees. He's got a mouthful of leaves. <laughs> And as we walked off, I thought about how John wanted to build his driveway here after he got back from Maine later in the summer. And though I knew I'd be up to my neck in my own projects, I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> He'll be able to get down. <laughs> he was just munching. <laughs> Whew. It is hot in here. Before we head to the cabin to work on some projects, I just wanted to thank this video sponsor, which is Skillshare. I've worked with them for many years, and I've always stuck with them because they're a company that I stand behind. Skillshare is online learning, and it's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads. They're always coming up with new courses. Like this course I just finished called Indoor Gardening. Grow House Plants, Veggies, and Herbs by Ekta Chaudhry. She was very easy to listen to, and I learned all about some house plants that I've owned for a while, but never knew how to properly care for. It's so nice being able to learn whatever you want at your own pace in the comfort of your own space. And seriously, you can type nearly anything into that search bar and they'll have courses related to it. From photography, videography, to cooking, gardening, creative writing, and so much more. Whether you're a hobbyist or a master, Skillshare has courses for you. And above all, it's an interactive community and you can even try live courses in real time. So the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And now without further ado, let's get to the cabin. So we started off by planting a few seedlings John gave me early in the summer before moving on to the dreadful business of digging out the trees in the driveway. We were uncovering the eyes of the trees so that they wouldn't die. And there was one mini boulder in particular that was too heavy to get out of the mud pit, so I had to give it special treatment. And 
and even with it split in half, it still wouldn't budge. So we enlisted the strength of Ralph the old rover, and he was happy to help. finished off a small drainage ditch with the rocks we plucked from the tree while I used the excess driveway fill to level out some trail areas. And after a few hours of scraping, plucking, and digging, we found the eye of the first tree. It's always satisfying when executing one project can help you simultaneously work on another. And after all that work, it was time for salvation in the cold water. It's so nice when it's deep. You feel that cold when I put my hands in it. It's not cold. I don't understand how. It's pretty warm. And now that we had mounted the actual pull-up bar, we could get some good hangs in on these work days to stay loose. And while we were using all our new additions, it was exciting to think of the routines we would develop here when spending more time. I'm going to be the strongest I've ever been next year. Next year. Me too. Like, yeah, both of we're gonna. What'd you say? A lot of cars in that parking lot, I feel like, tonight. Yeah, you're not kidding. That's a, it's kind of interesting. And later that day, we had Noah and Kaylee over for pizza at the office. It was one of the only clear days we had on the forecast, so we had to make the most of it. Everyone's in white linen. Race. <laughs> That's so the dough from scratch and let it ferment for a couple days before this night. So I was dying in anticipation to see how it tasted. And boy, is it a whole different experience when you make it from scratch. It just makes the whole evening more personal and unforgettable. Onward through the rainy nights and the misty mornings, as our gardens were starting to explode from all the water. Look at the um, cantaloupe. It's gone wild. I, I think, I, I mean, I don't want to sit here and worry about it. On one dreary day, I bought a floor jack and tested out the wheel bearings on the rover, as I suspected the driver's side was shot. Normally, I would farm this out, but working with Mason this spring has me feeling much more confident on repairs. And so I ordered some parts and planned to do the work myself, and then harvested from the garden and made a gigantic salad for lunch. 
It's very fulfilling to eat what you've grown, and these summer salads were hitting the spot and securing their place as a summer lunch staple at the office. Working with sourdough has been such a great escape from long editing days. It allows me to take a break from the computer and focus on just one thing, dough. And every time I work with it, I get to practice new techniques and ideas. And on one wet evening, I met John and Jack at the cabin so that John could give me the lowdown on how to put the cedar shakes on. Yeah, true. These are all pretty straight, but whatever. If it curves like this, you want the, it always to curve into the house because you don't want it to curve out and look stupid. So boom, we got our first one. And you want your, your gap to look like that. That's perfect. Then you shoot them up here. Yeah. Okay. One on the edges, yeah. Big ones, three, two for the rest of them. And there were more rainy evenings spent reading and cooking bread as the new passion continued to rise. Since my good friend Hunter, who I hadn't seen for a long time, was coming up in a few days, I prepared tons of pizza dough for a good old-fashioned bash with the gang. And there were some stretches in July where sunshine seemed like a strange dream you could barely remember, as you had accepted the rain, and it was the new normal. And one morning in particular was so foggy you couldn't see more than a hundred feet in any direction. And so I took Allie to Earth's End. As the rivers built up, I thought of last spring when John took me down the river in my old canoe for the first time, and we had a ball. And while he'd be tied up this week, maybe Mason would be up for an early run. And when I stopped by my parents to drop off some bread and pick up my scooter, I confirmed that the river did indeed beckon for damn good kids to float down it. So I texted Mason, and he said we were on for 6.30 the next morning. And 
And so Allie and I loaded the ruckus, and at daybreak, I loaded the old Coleman and headed for the hills. And I was delighted to see the gold medallion for the first time in a while. I haven't seen the sun in so long. It feels like it's been three weeks. I know it's been at least two. And this morning, it's rising through the clouds. It feels like a special gift or something. I could tell we both needed this. It's so easy to get caught up in constant productivity and not make time to recharge your soul. And as soon as we hit the water and let out a yip, I looked back and I could feel the joy in Mason's eyes, because I felt it too. And there was no place I'd rather be than floating down that swift river and breathing in the brisk, damp air. And we got hung up a couple times, but for the most part, it was higher than I had ever ridden down it. And there was this small sparrow-like bird following us the whole way, and he'd wait for us on rocks around bends and flutter over our heads. Once we made it to the landing, we went for the plunge. And while normally in July, this river is almost like bath water, the depth and current from the relentless rain made for the most refreshing swim of the season. Now all that was left before we both had to get to work was a final top-off on the soul charge, including boiled eggs, coffee, butter, jam, and a fresh loaf of sesame sourdough that I made the night before. <laughs> Here we go. Once you break, once you break the surface. You know. Right. So what are you baking on? Wow. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, Dutch oven. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got a cast oven. And that's it right there. That's what I crave. Couple hours in the morning when you might otherwise have been sleeping, spent making a favorite memory. And then you have a full day ahead of you to get work done. Nothing like it. In any of the few times the sun showed up on the forecast, Allie and I made sure to dedicate time to enjoy it. So one day I took her to one of my favorite spots for a morning swim.
and after a few detours, we arrived right when the morning sun was getting hot. current was just right for floating down the little chute. GoPro so I can use my arm. Yeah. And then Allie did it with me, and I was proud of her, because it takes the perfect mix of confidence and calm to flow with the river instead of fight it, but you come out the other end feeling invigorated. <laughs> and then Allie gave me another haircut on a beautiful evening at the office on the eve of Hunter's arrival. Hunter got there at about 5.30 a.m. and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to take him down the river because I knew he'd appreciate it. He's one of the guys that helped me build the creative office back in 2019 and we always have a blast together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, this is pristine. Wow, how's we go in? Um, We're gonna cut right through the center, you see? Yep. See the line? Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. Woo! The river wasn't quite as high as a few days ago with Mason, but we had something that wasn't there that day, the sun. And it made for some surreal views. <laughs> Straight shot. After paddling, we loaded up Old Blue for the big shindig later that night. And I'm not kidding when I say that a good get-together takes some serious prepping, planning, and packing. It's a lot of work, but it's well worth it for nights like these.
And before our final location, I took Hunter to the cabin to show him all the work the gang and I had done last summer. And the few blueberries that the deer spared were fruiting. And so by late afternoon, we arrived at Jack's with the plan to set things up and get some rope swinging in before dark. Tell Mason to get here. Ahoy! Come on now. Eh? And we were graced with the rare and beautiful golden sun for the occasion. And we set up, swam, and waited for the rest of the gang before firing up the pizza oven. We're doing things that you're not capable of. <laughs> you're not going to be able to do anything. What happened to the launch? Get nude, get your shit on, let's fuck it. <laughs>
for help. <laughs> it was by far the best night of the summer. And the next morning, Hunter and I got breakfast and said, until next time. And I headed back to the office to meet Allie and check in on all our plants. I was so bummed. Oh my God. I was so bummed we didn't get to pick this basil the other night. That basil is a bush. Uh -huh. That is, that is really ridiculous. And apparently the rain. Oh, look at the cilantro too. I know, yeah. Have you seen these though? No. <laughs> Huge, another one, big one over there. This one has one three. Right really? <gasps> it's growing up. These poor beans, everything's just got too much water. Like this thing went south. This, these two aren't too happy, but it's okay. Like, there's nothing. This is so full. Look at these. I know, those do need to get picked again. The watermelon's spilling out over here. Whoa. Just a straight jungle. Wait, where is there? Yeah, there's pepper. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope it hangs on. It fell. Oh, here's a fatty too. Mm. That's a jalapeno. Mm -hmm. That's my first real jalapeno. The lemon bomb is doing the best out of all the plants. Cukes made it over to here. Oh, but it's not looking good. What the heck? It looks overwatered. Which one? The cucumber. Yeah. It's yellow. Better not. It was dried out the other day. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take a video of this. Are you kidding me? That would be the biggest zucchini I've ever seen. That is a hog. You wanna take a video? Yeah, I'm getting it. And then one afternoon it rained hard, and I looked out the back door and Allie was splashing in the puddles, so I had to join her. <laughs> I've just been hanging out in the rain, jumping in the puddles and going in the greenhouse. But I've been a little cautious of this puddle. The whole mood of midsummer was rain. And in order to get through it with our heads up, we had to embrace it. And Allie continued experimenting with her herbs as I experimented with rye, and by mid-July, cabin work was really starting to pick up. now mowing the area that was a muddy abyss just a few months ago. And 
finishing all the trim on the outside before the final stage, Cedar Shakes. finally took the scaffolding down too, so the structure was slowly but surely starting to feel more homey. And after that long day at the cabin, I changed my mom's oil before heading off to photograph some stone jobs Mason did for his portfolio. And just as we were passing the marshmallows on the way home, a loud bang came from Mason's chassis, and we were forced to pull over at one of our favorite haunts and call for rescue. And my dad came and saved us, and I brought Mason home, and we ate a warm meal under the orange moon as the heat lightning struck in mid-July. Come, you want to have a bite of chicken? I don't even know if it's done. Are you coming? If it's done, yeah. Yeah? Oh, wow.